Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I'm sharing the junk journal I made on August the 26th. It is the Jane Austen digital downloads that I use from Calico Collage. The journal normally is for a 5x7 journal, and what I did was I printed the pages as they are, and then I cut them apart so that I could use them on an 85 by 11 sheet of paper to make a journal. The cover is a cardstock cover that I then put a sheet of book page on top. It was a dictionary page and then the images from Calico Collage. I've also added some lace. I've got a little uh, cameo that I put on there. This is another option that Calico Collage has of some journal labels. You can even put this journal belongs to on the inside as well. And then I just had a piece of lace here that I used to tie it shut. It does measure eight and a half tall and five and a half inches wide. The inside cover, what I did was I stenciled using one of these blending tools through the open lattice stencil, and then I added some washi tape. And then this was a notepad that I had that had these beautiful uh, lines and images on there. So an image from the kit around the outside edges. I use the textured edges. There's a set of four, and I use one of those stamps to add a little texture on the outside edge. This tab is from the kit as well. This is a rubber stamp that I colored with some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, Fussy Cat, and then used in here. Uh, this is the small butterfly that I have in my shop. This little book is a single stamp, so you can stamp it and then you can decorate it however you so choose. And then this is a card that comes in the kit. During the live stream, I made an a altered paper clip, and I also showed how I make this background as well. So some of these techniques you can see through the live stream. This is a page that I made in the live stream as well. This is Janice, I think it is, and it is a tuck spot, but I didn't put anything in it. I just used the backside of the paper clip. Another little tuck spot over here. This was the ribbon rose stencil. This was the open lattice stem, uh, no, not open lattice. It was retro panel two. I had to think about that for a moment. Uh, this is another page that I cut apart and kind of made a little collage and used one of those notepads. Here I used the five by seven image and I backed it, if you can see, that I lined them up one on top of the other so that when I sew, I sewed on through the whole, both sides at the same time and it looks like you know I spent the time to really match it all up. Another one of the items from the kit. This is scrapbook paper here. Here I stenciled the ribbon rose on the background and I even showed how to make those little notepads. So if you don't have those fancy notepads, you know, rubber stamping around the edge using some tattered angels or distress inks, adding one of the images, and you've kind of got a little pad or paper that you can use. This time I wrapped a page around the other page. I even used the lace duo up here and I added a little bit of lace on this side as well. This journal was raffled off during the live stream so those that attend my live streams can choose to make a donation and then they are entered to win the journal at the end. This was an image that I pulled down from the internet for the Jane Austen Pride and Prejudice. It is in free uh, in uh, Oh, uh, what is it called? Uh, it is in the domain, out in the domain for free. So you can download it and use it. And I thought it was neat that I happened to pull the same image that Norella used, but altered because she added the wallpaper around the outside and it's in reverse. So I thought that was kind of cool. And I did that by making a pocket, a large pocket on the page by doing some book pages and then the Calco collage, a little bit of washi tape there. And then this slides right in. It's a five by seven card. Another altered paper clip there and an image from the kit. Here I use what I call as a junior legal pad and I trimmed it down to be the same size as the calico collage images so that when I sewed it matched on both sides. This is called uh, Beach Rose. It's a small rubber stamp that I offer in my shop and it was colored with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. 
another one of the Calico Collage images. I use lace every once in a while. Used uh, the lace duo here and stamped it onto ivory cardstock with the Distress Oxide ink. I made this little card, so it was a four by six journal card and I folded it in half, rounded the corners, used the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist through the Retro Panel 2 stencil. And then this is one of the domino images that you can get separately that has uh, these beautiful ladies on it. Here I tore a page and made pocket across the top here. And I made a larger journal card using one of the images from Calico Collage on a five by seven journal. Here I used the open lattice stencil. And again, that's the retro panel two. I added a couple of charms to the tie in the middle. And then over here, this is another one of those book pages that I downloaded and I masked off the image in the center and sprayed Tattered Angels to get the design and then I added washi tape on top. And here's the other side of this page, so it was up here. And you layering it with two different book pages kind of gives it a cool effect. And then we have a cool pocket on this side of the page using some more of the ephemera. And I believe I used one or two of the add-on things that Norella has. These were some artist trading cards. I think they're called uh, Bella, Bell Darlings. I don't know if you artist trading cards. I hope to have the video link or the link in the video description when I post this. I know that the Mason jars are a separate file that you can get. And I just like the way those look. It's a very feminine journal. Here I use a Robin stamp and the Lace Duo to make just a little pocket. And then this was a scrap that I had left over from Seven Gypsies. I thought that would be kind of cool. This comes in the kit, these little tickets. I don't know if y'all can see that. They're kind of fun little tickets. This is another image that I got off the internet and I just, just chose to kind of layer it so you have the nice pocket. And then I made it so that there's a pocket over here. I didn't put anything in it, but there's a pocket there. There's another of the other side where I folded over. Another here. Here I use the open lattice stencil with the blending tool and some distress ink. And a little pocket there. It was a lot of fun making this journal. I had some of these things that I had printed because I made a whole bunch of journals a couple of years ago, and I think it was 2017 when I made it. And I found the envelope or bag that had all the stuff in it and thought, well, I need to use some of this. Here's another little torn pocket that I made. So being able to get this out and work on it was a lot of fun, and I think those that were watching the live stream really enjoyed it. I hope you like seeing a quick flip through of the Jane Austen journal that I made. Make sure you check the description box for all of the items that I use, especially visit Calico Collage because I just love her digital downloads and being able to use them. Check out my first Facebook groups by Linda Israel and the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. We're the largest Facebook group for junk journals uh, and I just amazed at how many people are in there. Make sure that you come visit me next time I go live. I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time and on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Well, thank you for watching today. Again, I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Have a fabulous day, everybody. Bye.